Brought to you by AwesomeDrinks.com. Use coupon code FATHERS14 and save 15% off everything in the store. Welcome to Cotton Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. I'm going to meet Ian. Oh, crap. I don't have anything to spin it to. That's Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. And it's Tuesday, Tuesday. Is it really true? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Now i got to make sure this gets released on Tuesday. Huh. I did that once. I, I put them in. I, I'm like, oh, I think I rendered in the wrong order. Yeah. I, I proofed one and it actually said, this is releasing on Thursday. I'm like, shh. He's not going to go on the day. Go run well, hopefully at this point, America won their match against... Uh, Whoever, whatever we're talking about. Who they're playing. The World Cup. Oh, we play in the World Cup too? I guess it is World and we are part of it. We're part of the World. I thought we just sucked world. everything. We're getting better and better. All right. This recipe is called the Horror Infused Mai Tai. Horror! Who made it? Infused. I made it! All right. And here's why. First off, where's the bitters? So, the guys that make the uh, Cthulhu Tiki Mug just released his own bitter. It's uh, the horror and clay bitter. So it's called horror infused, fiendishly Fiendish tropical. tropical. Right. A terrific blend of rich molasses, grapefruit, island spices, and eldritch lore. Mmm. Mm. This is the actual story. Ghana? Um, Ghana, yeah, Ghana. that's what we're playing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Small <laughs> batch, tentacle, tentacle crafted with care. <laughs> he, he puts a ton in it. So, that's great. So the problem is transform your cocktail. When you release a new bitter, you need recipes. So I thought, since I sell them on awesomedrinks.com, we need to have a recipe for it. Absolutely. And, but I also wanted a recipe that harkened back to the days of yore. <laughs> so, <laughs> Can you tell we did an energy drink episode? <laughs> we did. <laughs> Just some... <laughs> so it's harkening back harkening to that right energy now. drink recipe. It, it, you you, you want to you wanna start building this and I can yeah, explain Yeah, let me do that. that. You talk and I'll build. Well, so I can talk. Um, so the first thing I wanted to use was Angostura 1919. 1919. Right? Because 1919 is... Oh, no, so no, no. It's okay. because it's just good. All right. Right? I want to start with a good base. This cocktail is not meant to be common man in cost. That's a 40 or $30 bottle of rum. You can use John really Q. You can use uh, any any medium color, you know, any goldish rum you want. But the flavor profile and everything I'm going for is a little bit on the 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 tiki theme in that lots of crazy ingredients and then uh, lots of rum, right? So sold. You this me lots of is a, we're using deep eddy grapefruit Didn't vodka. Didn't matter what it was, just lots of. Lots of. Right. <laughs> So the rum is your base. The grapefruit vodka kind of plays on the original Beachcomber Mai Tai, which had very, if you remember when we did that one with mm -hmm. Curtis, it was super sour. It was like crazy grapefruit. Yeah. My goal was I don't like that much grapefruit, but I, I don't mind having that flavor profile. It's just not intense. On top of which, horror infused bitters have a grapefruit component to them. Mm. So it kind of plays in. Orange curacao, because a lot of the Mai Tai recipes call for an orange curacao. Um, this, for the grenadine, don't use roses grenadine. Yeah. Get like this. Or make your own homemade grenadine with pomegranates and simple syrup. This is as close to homemade grenadine because this is uh, authentic grenadine from Stirrings. We sell on Austin Drakes if you need it. And it's basically cane sugar and, and pomegranate. So this is kind of where I wanted to go. I'm not looking for rich, dark red color like the red, a red Mai Tai. I was looking for more of the, the sweet component of the pomegranate playing off of a little bit of the horror of the Kraken, the right? Horror. But I found that too much Kraken brought a lot of Kraken. Like it was like- well, Kraken will do that. Yeah, Kraken became the drink. It sneaks up on you. Right. So I wanted to have a drink that was kind of something between your trendy Mai Tais you get at a restaurant versus the original Beachcomber Mai Tai and then the Trader Vic Mai Tai and that argument that, that, that they had, I thought, what if they were creating these drinks today? Did you say how many ounces of everything went in there? No, I can't. Oh, uh, one and a half of Angostura, half ounce of Deep Eddy Ruby Red Vodka, three quarter ounce of Orange Curacao, half ounce Grandine, half ounce Orgot, half ounce Kraken, and four dashes of horror infused right. bitters. And this and plays nice. into the, the almond syrup. Definitely plays into a lot of the Mai Tai recipes. I like the almond syrup flavor, so I want to add that. But my goal was, what if Beachcomber and, and Trader Vic were making recipes today with a lot of the cool ingredients we have today? You put the bitters in there? Because we got... I did. We, we have a lot more stuff than they had back then. We got a ton of stuff. Right. It's amazing how many stuffs we have. That has to be super shaking cold, because otherwise it's... Oh, did you add a line? You didn't add a line. It doesn't say add line. 
it does. Where is it? Alright, point it out to me. Shut up! <laughs> I rewrote the recipe. It's on the back. Okay. Am I gonna have to do lime in here? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> and I a quarter ounce. I put the shield up and it still got me. And a quarter ounce of lime. Shields up, Captain. <laughs> I haven't got back to the next generation yet. Oh, I guess I did that in the one. We're watching Orange is the New Black. What's that? We're watching Orange is the New Black. Oh, I heard that's good. Pretty good. That's good. Oh, okay. Um, well, you can tell it's good because you get the frost ring. Right. Frost ring. Frost ring. So you can use crushed ice or regular ice. You can use a tiki, but I think it, it, this will work best in a low ball. It's a plus two frost ring. Whoa. Of doom. Of terror. Terror. So... Anyway, so my, my idea was, imagine if you can yeah, make... It looks great for dish. Yeah. Oh, look if at you the can... proportions. They're perfect. Did oh, you do that on purpose? I did. You're crazy. I am. He's so crazy. Boom! Oh, so, that looks great. I like the color on that. It has that dangerous look to it because it's tiki. Mm. It's got that, you know, is it going to be grapefruit? I'm yeah. not a big, huge fan of grapefruit, so you're going to find it's not as grapefruit. I like grapefruit. But I Give it a try. Don't. I already know what it tastes like. You don't? I oh, you already do. Yeah. I no, I just made it up on the fly. I don't even know what it tastes like. It sounded like you said you don't know what it tastes like. No, right. Thank yeah. you, Jim. I do, but I don't. I don't have any idea what I'm talking about. Um, oh. But it's going to be, I wanted, here's what I'm going for. Tropical flavor. You get a lot of the oh, yeah. uh, almond syrup in the yeah. nose. But I wanted it to have you kick get the to it. grapefruity, but it's not crazy in your face like right. you're saying. I you, wanted like I want when you take a sip of it to go, whoa! There's rum in there. Like yeah, there's well, like there's rum. But this has got a lot of stuff. That's strong, but this yeah, is really the strong. My boss, who likes Bloody Marys, also loves my ties. This might be right up his alley. And I love my ties. I've had my ties from all over the place, and most my ties that I've had he's have had been my ties. Super he's had your sweet. ties. He's had her ties. He's had his ties. I've had my own ties. He's had his own ties. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That's how much he likes my ties. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Ulcer prevention. Reiterate. Oh, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I can't drink alcohol this week because I'm on some heavy doses of pain meds. But he can taste it. Right. But I can taste and it. And spit it out. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just trying to avoid ulcers. Or get ulcers, yeah. Yeah. So that, that's really. So basically, you're saying the show is not worth ulcers. I can kidding. still get the taste. <laughs> if I had to, that's why I'm not doing this. If you had to, you would. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I should probably know. iterate that each time this week because people are going to be like, what is wrong with that guy? Oh, he thinks he's so pompous. He's doing mm. a cocktail what show is this, and he's spitting it out. Yeah. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. Speaking of wine tastings, we did wine tastings in Nova Scotia. Yeah, sweet. That was really fun. How are you with there? Question anyway. of the day. Question of the day. Question of the day. What's your favorite tropical cocktail? I like the painkiller, man. Painkiller. Good tropical. That's I, that's I more... That. Well, is that sweet or sour? That's sweet. Is it sweet? Yeah. I remember... I can't... I know the pussers. Pussers, yeah. Pussers. That's there the was other, recipe. some other ones out there, but that's the trademark recipe. Right. I like Pussers. the Trader Vic's Mai Tai. The Trader Vic's Mai Tai is much different than Beach Color. Like, yes. You need to be a different person. Like, it's not that type of drink where you're like, oh, I just love all Mai Tais. There are some that you're like, that's a Mai Tai. Right. I didn't. That's not what I'm expecting. Like, I expect heavy doses oh, of rum. Got Kick in the Did pants, no tie? Campari in it. Yeah, and Puta Cana. <laughs> and Puta they put Campari in my Mai Tai. I'm like, okay, I've had every Mai Tai ever, but never one with Campari. Campari. So, but on that same vein, some people, I've noticed, like the original one had a little splash of absinthe, right? Okay. Um, I thought what I tried first was, a, and I thought this was going to be awesome. I can't find it now. That but punch, that tiki punch that Kyle made. That would go good in the tiki punch. That function. was really good. Mm. Um, I forget what it was called. What is this? Oh. So what I wanted to do is I, I tried rinsing Fernet Branca over the ice. Okay. To kind of replace the absinthe. Again, thinking, what would they have done if they created this recipe today? Right. They would probably look at these cool products coming out and going, how do I use this? Because it's challenging. Mm. Absinthe is challenging. It is. But it's so, so it, it didn't totally. work. No. It, I mean, it worked, but it didn't work for me. Like, I, I wasn't proud of it because it tasted too, I like... like the good. eucalyptus finish that came out of it when I added this just as a rinse. Yeah. Like it was, it turned from like that tropical Mai Tai to like tropical herbs. Like you were, okay. you were a witch doctor. And I wasn't really oh. looking for the witch doctor look. Oh, that would go with the horror. Right. Well, oh, the horror. Oh, the horror. That's why I thought bringing in a dark rum, which most Mai Tais have, yep. using Kraken, which also has some spice. That's good. And that'll uh, I'll go good in a tiki glass. Yeah. Also, I mean, it's got yeah. good color. This is a good glass to show it off. Yeah, if you double the recipe, you do, if you double the recipe, throw it in a tea glass, you'll kill somebody. Yeah. 
You should do it to yourself. Luke, right. that's what you're going for. Well, you got an ounce and a half of Angostura, somebody. then you got a half ounce of Kraken, so you're basically two ounces of rum. Yep. A so half you ounce double that. Of some ruby red. Right. You double, you half got four ounce. ounces, and that doesn't include your vodka and your your orange liqueur. Yeah. So Which you got another will, ounce of about. One you will. Um, you'll be in a bad bad way, I think. Mm. And just enough <laughs> lime to bring out. We're some making mojitos. You know those big. Mugs you gave me that we made the absolute mm -hmm. losing cocktail. Yeah, in. we made. Oh God, you didn't make mo mojitos. In yeah, there. the whole <laughs> like thing. Last weekend, the weekend what before. Did you, did you use your leg to muddle? <laughs> you know, he had a big muddler. It was hard to get to, but it was six, six <laughs> ounces. Six ounces of rum. Then per person. Yeah. Oh, you God. die. No, we each. Had, we only had a couple each. A couple each. <laughs> and, 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 and seven bottles of else. club soda. No, we we pretty much finished a fifth between the two of us. It was good. <laughs> oh my God. That, I, we topped it with club soda though, so we lightened it up. Oh, oh yeah. Right, right. Yeah, so, so six ounces so of rum fine. topped with club sodas. So in a, in, a, anyway. in an ultimate beer glass. <laughs> Sorry, that, I'm getting that, off topic. That we sell. <laughs> Another question besides your tropical topic. cocktail is, what is the most creative usage of a glass that you may have done? Like for instance, you just found a fishbowl, like a real fishbowl, and you're yeah. like, let's throw some ice and rum in there. And then just. I think we've done that at a show, actually. We did, we did the fishbowl cocktail. Yeah, you did the fishbowl. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was so but, good. We finished the whole thing, too. Which that was impressive. super good. We probably all gained a pound from all the sugar. <laughs> right. there, but... oh, 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 I made another one a couple of weeks after. But did then, you, two, you're actually. so crazy. I know. This is so crazy. Or you can make, and I've, I've seen this, You some cocktails have been made with votives, like that, like the candle votive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what is the most creative usage of glassware? Hmm. Um mojitos in a in a big glass like that that's in a large beer mug that's right up there like when you when your brain is thinking that you know you <laughs> well, don't have we, children we had the glasses oh they have kids they have kids <laughs> I, I don't understand how I had the glasses like hmm what can we put in there margarita or mojito <laughs> mojito's more safer margarita you'd have sick belly yes because mojito's a little lighter it is it it's is. only got six, oun six so ounces six ounces of rum in it and mint is so good for your digestion so. that's right so you digest the rum quicker yeah we're good so if you're looking to, to kind of see how I came up with this, you can go and get whatever you need from us or anywhere else. I sell the fiendishly uh, horror, infused. horror infused bitters on awesomedrinks.com. Oh yeah, just where you sell everything else. Well, yeah, you, you can get your glasses there too. You but get if, your grenadine there too. If you have you glasses already, yeah. So the the components you need or from this. It. I don't have Torani, I have Fee Brothers, which I, we don't have around here. No. It's like in a big thing over there. Okay. Um, you can get your bottle shake. But well, we have the small bottle of that, too. We do. We have a small bottle of the simple syrup. Which is really good. Oh, uh, okay. Of what? To order. Oh, because we have, why? Because you have a lot of them? No, because shipping is much easier. Hey, it's easier to ship the smaller <laughs> bottles than the larger bottles. But if you wanted all the stuff for this, besides the alcohol, awesome that drinks. you can get at Austin Drake's. You can get your grenadine, your almond syrup, and your bitters. Then you can go out buy a lime. Use the if you have if you can't get Deep Eddy, and I know a lot more people than we can get it. I think, but if you can't get Deep Eddy, I would say use a ruby red um, grapefruit juice. Yeah, and throw in some vodka. Yeah, maybe in add it. I keep it light. We'll go one to one ruby red and vodka, and just kind of you know a quarter ounce of each. Or yeah, you don't like want that. this to taste like grapefruits just popping through yeah. your face, unless you do. <laughs> maybe but you do. I, I think it, I was this, this is balanced well, so it doesn't. Yeah, it was kind of a pain. I, in, the thing that bothered me the most about this is I needed to make the recipe three times before I, four times before I got it right. Yeah. And because it has an ounce and a half of Angostura, you had to I use poured out a lot of Angostura today. Yeah. <laughs> and that is frustrating because this stuff's good. Yeah, but I figured for the fans, all they would need to know is they can go to patreon.com slash cmc and they can, they can donate to the show. And, and you then can replenish I can, your Angostura stock. Right, and for new recipes. For future drinks. For them to... to uh, consume visually without wasting the angostura themselves exactly why would you waste it yourself you when give we us, can waste it for you if if 20 people give me two dollars then i could buy that and you only had to invest two dollars to see if it was worth you actually investing real money to buy a product and then you get good cocktails like this that's right yeah everybody wins especially like in because he's yeah. drinking it. yeah especially here <laughs> especially here <laughs> i just show up and drink yeah when? And he gets in the credits. And I get in the credits. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? He can be an executive producer. Really? I don't even know what that does. I but think I have to one. pay money for that, don't I? Yeah! 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, I'm out. We bought stuff in the store before you. Oh, That's I have. Yeah, kind yeah, of paid money. True. Okay. Of course, by that token, half the people that watch the show now are yeah, executive they're producers. They're expecting some exec yeah, producers' yeah. credits, yeah. Well, maybe we'll figure, 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 we'll it, figure it out. We'll figure it out. AaronAndrews.com, AustinDrews.com for this stuff. All good stuff. Yep. Yeah. Virginia, you're in.